Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 11 of Rustic Waters 2. And in the last episode, uh, what did I do? We went exploring. We went exploring, then I came back and I made this. And I got more dogs. Let me show you upstairs first. It's just the second floor, so we've got more space to do stuff. Um, I have to admit, this is very heavily inspired. I don't want to say taken from because it's not exactly the same as um, heavily inspired by Yorkshire Panda. And um, but no, he he's done a layout very similar to this. He's put in the second floor. He's done it differently, but I got the idea from him basically. All right. Um, I've got space behind here, so if I have to add things from upstairs and have pipes going down or something or more storage, whatever, it can be done. Um, we have doggos. This is the original dog um, with the red collar. Then I went and got another dog and I um, bred them and got a third one, which is why this dog has a purple collar because um the parents have red and blue all right i thought that was very clever <laughs> um and to get the the dogs uh which quest is it let's see uh a friend indeed the first one you get a monster ball i was looking at making those and then um it needs cyan dye which i don't have um, and then I looked at the quest reward and realized I got one. And basically, it's no, it's in my backpack. Basically, what you do, you charge it. So you right click, so it pull back, and then aim at whatever entity you want. You want it to pick up. So that's how I got the dog down here. Otherwise, you know. It wasn't going to follow me down when I teleported down, and if I'd gotten a lead on it, it would have drowned. So, um, so yeah, so there's the Pokeball. No, it's not a Pokeball, it's a Monster Ball, but it's based on the Pokemon thing. What else have I done? The other thing that I did was that, um, well, I set up the coal, the blast furnace before the episode finished. Pick those up. We need some more charcoal. Okay. This is going slowly. Um, all the tanks are connected. I think I mentioned that I wasn't sure if they were, but they are because there's another tank below here. So all the liquid's gone down. So I don't have to worry about emptying out um, creosote oil. Um, I've been making steel so i have almost a stack of steel now and also what i've done is that i've set up a washing station so um use a uh, a, uh an encased fan you put water in front of it you have half a block it will actually let me let me show you because i need to probably do some more stuff all right is that copper yes you take your um, your ore, your crushed ore, you throw it in, move very quickly so you don't pick it up. Then you can see the particles so you know it's working. The copper will go forward and it will do its thing. It will turn into nuggets and it will get picked up by the vacuumulator. The vacuumulator, you can have a, um, a filter augment so you can tell it what not to pick up so it doesn't automatically pick up the crushed ore it would just pick up the um the nuggets and then there you go they've all been picked up now they're going into this iron chest and then the iron chest is filtering them back into the system and also i've discovered which is really annoying is that um if you put copper ingots into a um a compacting drawer it will change them into mechanism 
um, copper, which is fine. But then when you wash them, it washes into create, create copper, right? So then I've got two different sets of nuggets. I've had to do two different sets of compacting drawers. However, this, I, I don't know how come I didn't know this. There is a, um, an upgrade you can do for the drawers and it it's uh, a compatibility upgrade so basically no matter what it is it will just put everything together that sounds no that isn't how it's good so for example for the two different if i had the compatibility upgrade on this compact compacting drawer it would take all of the cup copper and put them into one drawer whether it's create or mechanism and like I said, I've been playing with storage drawers for years and I never knew this existed. So thanks again to Yorkshire Panda because he pointed it out to me. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. I have been waiting um, until I started recording so that we can look through the loot that we got in the last episode because I did a little bit more exploring, not much. So um, let's have a look. We've got bookshelves, mustard seeds, uh, corn flour, which I didn't I didn't have before, fermenters, which is a quest, um, a limestone furnace. I don't know how fast the furnace is, but it's a different type of furnace. We've got two enchanting tables. We have a disenchanting table, which is from the cyclic mob mob mod cyclic or cyclic. Um, you it takes enchants off an item and it puts it on a book and it's really handy actually i think cyclic might have the library as well i don't know no that's apotheosis that's not cyclic uh we've got lemon so we can get a lemon tree i picked up some snowballs we've got brown dye we have chance hearts which look like might be interesting we've got diamonds uh enchanted books we've got fluid pipes got potions pineapple juice that might be mine i don't think i don't think i got that cactus uh we've got maple syrup bits so we can make a maple syrup tree a maple tree raccoon tail have no idea what you do with that golden apple we got some alcohol these bitter lily buds i picked those up so that gave that's a quest as well um what else we've got four loot crates four droppers four observers some arrows warp scroll that's ours uh 11 luminous glass couple of ender pearls lots of eggs well 10 eggs some bones uh more eggs diamonds more emeralds art crystal which is awesome uh, more maple, a lectern, more bitter lily buds, a void anvil. Oh, yes. Um, Maxter, Maxter. Um, they pointed out that when I went into the church the first time, that was at the bottom of the, the, um, the ladder and I missed it. And actually I caught sight of it as I was editing the video but I thought you know I'll go back and check it out because I wasn't sure what anvil it was I thought it was a powered anvil which would have been awesome but it turns out it's a void anvil and all of the churches seem to have it so you know there's that yeast I don't know where we picked that up what from lava bucket more bookcases and that's pretty much it so lots of interesting stuff but I want the heart can heart crystal I need 10 XP levels to use that. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, which is on crate crafting. There you go. That's not even 10. Oh, come on. Really? All right. Some, something else must have given me some XP. That's what I get for dying. Uh, ocean armory. Oh, another loot crate. Oh, that opened it. Enchanted books. Bookshelf. We might have enough keys 
to open another piece, I think. Uh, ocean Armory, that's that bit. Ocean Organizing. There you go, 12. So we have an extra heart now. Awesome. Uh, uh, da, da. Do we have... I think we've got more keys. I mean, I mean, a fragment. Yes, we do. So we can open a third section. Okay, so crate crafting, was it that? No. Ocean armory. Yes, please. More books and key fragment. And where was the other key fragment? Yes. What else can we get? Farming and food. Barley seed and mushrooms. Okay, that's okay. We don't need that yet. Flux generating and another loot crate. Iron throwing knife. Tin flanged mace and a silver warhammer. Okay. Very violent. Um, I like loot crates in case you haven't noticed. Okay, let's craft this into a key. I didn't think I'd be opening another hub. Yeah, let's do this one. Didn't think I'd be opening another hub today, but there you go. All right, let's get some, um, what you call them? What do you call these things? Torches. We have nine. That's enough. Oh, that's got me. That, that, that's, I'm all excited. Okay, if I remember the corner, the middle, the corner, the middle, the corner, guess what comes up? And guess what comes up? And right here in the middle. <laughs> right, sorry, I couldn't help myself. F7. Oh, we missed a piece. Probably on this, no, this side is okay, actually. And that side's okay. All right. Cool, cool. Right, so what mystery books? Mystery books? Um, magic books. Piercing. Quick charge, thorns, and sweeping edge. Nice. Put them in our chest. No, not that chest. This chest. And let's open our loot crates. Bear cape, cobweb, dark oak half drawers, and honeycomb. Okay. Slime explosive, PNT. Don't know what that does. Iron ingot, five coin, nice. Blue ceramic tiles, fluid valve, minecart with furnace, and bacon wrapped chili. Food I'm all excited for. String, copper sheet, steel ingot, and nickel ingot. Okay, not fantastic, but not too bad either. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's put the food in our backpack. Um, oh yes, the chance hearts. I don't know if I should open these. Because they'll either make it more difficult or less difficult. Oh! Was this all? That isn't... Why is it saying that there's, that's got to be a lighting glitch. Cause there were torches, but it's saying that it was dark. Hmm. Yeah, this, there seems to be a lot of lighting glitches in this pack. I don't know. Right, let's get on with what we're doing. All right, let's put all of these away. Oh, we've got 64 of those. Okay. Slimes targets in a high area, high not back. Oh, spreads phyto grow in a large area. Not throwable. Okay. And let me see. Warhammer. Any I. Okay, interesting. Three armor on the back slot. Okay, we could do that. And 
and the dark oak half drawers. All right, let's put on the, um, I think in my back slot, I've got, I've got my backpack. Can you see it? Oh, hold on. Why did it take up my engineer's goggles? Okay. Oh, you can see it, although it just looks like I've got hair all down my back. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Right. Um, oh, <laughs> looks like I've got hands on my shoulders. <laughs> That's quite funny. Right. Let's get on with today's, today's episode. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Right, I don't know what we're going to do out there, but no, that's that's not our concern. Not our concern. Right. Um, why am I out here? I don't know. Create crafting. Um, all right, so we get an iron hammer. This harvest level two iron hammer will mine blocks in the three by three area. This would be quite handy for your trips to the dark caverns mining dimension. Okay. Um. The empty blaze burner. We can make the blaze burner. But um, obviously we can't use it because we can't get to the nether yet. But there are nether dungeons. Oh yes, we wanted charcoal. Uh, let's turn around. Let's get some steel. I can't wait to get AE2 and then we can have like wireless stuff. Charcoal. Um, I have no idea where I put the steel. Oh, that was different steel. Mechanism steel. Okay, we can still use it. Okay, so what did we want? Steel. We want a blaze. Blaze burner, an empty blaze burner. Spelling, Shay, spelling. Okay, steel fence. Alright, you'll we'll want two of those. And then I oh know. I mean no, we needed three fences, so that's fine. And steel plates. We want the hammer. Yeah, we wanted three steel plates. One, two, three. Uh, empty blaze burner, that's it. Okay, and we get overworld cake. Alright, so let's stick that in our inventory. Okay, so... Um, next thing. So we can't do that, obviously. We can't do those. Should we finish this side? What's this? Linen and treated sticks. I think we can do that. And sticks. Uh, one, two. Okay, handle. Oh, we want two. Okay. Okay, and we get a fragment for that. Uh, prismarine hammer. No, we don't have enough for that. But at least we've made the handles for it. Okay, um, the factory dots. 24. Steel and clay. 24, that is... we want three sets. I know, that's because it's in my inventory. <laughs> Almost had a heart attack there. I was wondering what's happened to all my steel. Uh, four is 32, you want three sets. Three sets? Why am I doing four? 
There you go. What are these, though? And we get a diamond chisel. Nice. Each empty space within your tank holds 250,000 millibuckets of fluid. Your tank can have as many as 500 spaces inside. Fluid storage will become more important as you get into oil drilling and mass production. Fancy fluid storage will allow you to make high capacity fluid tanks. Any factory block from chisel can be used in the frame along with framed glass. Okay, so I'm guessing it's some kind of big tank thing. Okay. Right, we'll put those away for now. Did I put the charcoal in the thing? I can't remember. I know I took it out. But I don't know if I actually used it. No, didn't use it. If I put... Yeah, that's not going to work. I think I'm going to have to put it in separate. But I will do that some other time. Okay, what's the next thing? Tank valve. Each tank must have at least one fluid valve for importing and exporting. Once your tank is complete, right click the fluid valve to form it. Okay, same as before, but with a bucket. Nice. And then we get 16 framed glass. So all of that is complete apart from that, apart from these. And now onto this stuff. Copper spool, copper wire, and an empty spool. We need iron. How many do we need? Four. That gives you one. So we want... Oh, well, that gives you four, though. Okay, so we need two iron plates, two iron rods. Um, that's back in here, isn't it? Is it? Nope. Iron. All right, we want two iron plates. Uh, hammer there. And two iron rods. And then that should give us can't remember the recipe but we want a spool that gives us four spools and then a copper spool we need a uh, copper wire four copper wires around each one and uh, we wanted four so that's 16 copper wires and that's a copper sheet and the pliers Oh, I, I made, how many did we say we needed? 16? Could be that we needed 16. 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, uh, where is, is it back in here? Nope, that's the wrong thing. Okay, three copper sheets. Copper wires at 16, spools and there you go. And we want two capacitors. Okay, iron, zinc, copper. Okay, it's the same thing, but two different configurations. What's the difference? Don't know. And how many capacitors do we need? Two capacitors. All right, what do we have in... We've got iron, we want zinc, and we want copper. Um, zinc. All right, um... Let's have a look. Kappa. I don't know why I still have caps lock. No, you know what? It's because caps lock on my keyboard, I hit it all the time. I'm not really sure why. Is that all iron? No, it's iron and zinc. So 
four iron sheets, two zinc sheets, and two copper sheets. I wonder if this is going to take both of them. The copper plate, the same as a copper sheet. Well, that's not given. Oh. There a difference? Oh, okay. We can use either or. Okay, that was that was giving me. I was like, yeah, okay, all right. That's not too bad. Uh, four iron plates. If we're underwater, how can we hear the the, the thunder? I don't know how that works. Um, two zinc. Not sure how that works. Where's the zinc? There's the zinc. It's the really weird stobby ones. And we want two redstone torches. Yeah, my my caps. I find nowadays I hit caps lock all the time. Not sure why. Now we want one stick. Torch on top. And capacitor. Capa. That's one. Oh, do you not stack? Okay. Ah, and we got a 10 coin. Awesome. All right. Uh, furnace engine. Some mechanical crafting recipes are different sizes and shapes than others. You can move the mechanical crafting boxes around and at any point and any point I think that might be at any point to fit new recipes. The recipe will not automatically start crafting if there are blank spaces within the shape unless you give it a redstone sh signal. The furnace engine feeds into a flywheel in order to create rotational force. The flywheel has a very high stress capacity un stress unit capacity. Okay. Okay, how many of these do we need? Just one, right? Yeah. Did I? Yes, I did. All right, so we need two brass, four brass sheets, brass casing, and a piston. All right, let's see what we have under brass. Brass casing and a piston. There you go. Um, right, what did we want? Uh, two ingots and one, two, three, four, five sheets. Two ingots, we want another brass. Okay. Brass sheets, two ingots. All right, we need to do it in the mechanical thingy. All right, so nine by nine, piston, casing, sheets and ingots where's the piston all right there's a three by there's a nine by nine piston casing brass ingots and the sheets press the button nice there's the furnace engine you get a five coin rotational speed controller precision mechanism shafts and a brass sheet silver gear and a wooden gear and was that a building gadget or an exchanging gadget it was some kind of gadget we have shafts here um oh we got a bolt of cloth i should take that across as well and the hopper and those are we hungry again? Why are we hungry? All right. Um, we want precision. All right. Silver gear, which is silver and iron. And one of those iron nuggets and a wooden gear. Okay. Planks and logs. We have planks. No, we don't. Planks and logs. And what was the other thing? We wanted brass. 
All right, precision. I didn't bookmark it. That would have been too good. Precision. At least I can spell precision correctly. Usually I can't spell anything. All right, we need an iron nugget. We need a wooden gear. Oh, brass sheets. Uh, do we have... Where's the hammer? Not there. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that kept its its contents. That's interesting. Uh, we want four brass sheets. That is very interesting. I didn't realize it kept the inventory. Um, and we have nowhere to put it, so it has to keep it anyway. Uh, precision mechanism. There's that. And precision engine. Oh, rotational speed controller. Do I have brass casings? No, I don't. One here, though. Um, what can I put in? The sails, the glass, tank. That's about it for now. And probably the torch. Alright, so we want the rotational speed controller. And that's that. And that gives us an exchanging gadget. And I don't know if you guys had noticed, because I didn't notice it the first time, it comes fully charged. So if you wanted to use it, you can use it, which is excellent. Um, I don't need it right now, but it's a good thing to know. Yeah, uh, the flywheel and the alternator. Okay, let's see how much of this we can do. Because I'm looking, it's probably time for me to stop, but I want to finish this construction paste. Oh, for the building gadget. When you run out of a block to place for your building gadget, either use the construction paste as a substitute. One construction paste can be used to form one block. Blocks can form by the construction paste will look identical to the block that it is mimicking, but will not act identical. Okay. That's interesting. Flywheel. All right, brass ingots and a brass casing. That's pretty simple. We're running out of brass ingots, though. So, yeah, today's episode is going to be a little bit long, but that's okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, if we put that here and the ingots, brass. It was eight or nine? I think it was eight. Only one way to find out, though. Yep, that worked. Okay, alternator. Now that you have a strong, steady flow of rotational energy, it's time to learn how to turn that into forge energy using the alternator. The alternator requires at least 32 RPM to operate, but you will need to increase the speed much higher if you want to get a reasonable amount of FE per tick. Okay. All right, so we've already done those. We need redstone wire, which is copper and redstone. Uh, silver plates, two, four, six, eight silver plates, and we've got those. And that gives you one alternator. And how many do we need? Just one. Okay. Okay. Back and forth. I wish I'd had this all in one room. But, uh, yeah. That's okay. Right, silver. We want silver plates. Alright, what was it? Alternator. You wanted eight, so we need half of that. And we want redstone wire, so that means we need copper wire. Oh, we've got two. Excellent. We have a redstone wire coil. Does that break back down into copper, into redstone wire? No. Okay. We want four of those. And that gives you two. Okay. Um, what am I missing? Oh, yes, because that needs copper wire, which needs the copper plates. Uh, which needs the thing that I don't have on me because it's in here. And we're going to have to make another one soon. All right, so that's two wires. Oh, I only needed to make one wire. Never mind. And the silver. Okay, so. Silver sheets. And then um, copper and capacitor. And the redstone wire. And hit the button. Oh! 
Oh yes, it would start because all the slots are full. That is very true. And then it does its thing and spins around and it's done. And we got some XP, not going to get that right now. Um, four LV wire connectors, so we need terracotta and copper. Do I have any terracotta? I don't think I've made any terracotta. Well, I, I did, but I don't think I've got any more. All right, clay, I'll put back the clay. We want six terracotta, so that's going to be more than 32. I oh, know, as usual, Shay can't count, but it's fine. Uh, what was the other thing we needed? Brass? Copper. Copper. Three copper. All right, let's put this to smelt. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of hungry now. I can't run around the base. Um, how are these going? Okay. Um, food? Let's eat the bacon-wrapped chili. All right, that takes forever. Let's put the coins away while we're waiting. And that's still... What I should have done was use the um, the thing of time, the time in a bottle. I've got 33 hours on this. Not bad. Nope. So what was it? Oh, we only need four. Oh, okay. And we got the engineer's manual and finally an LV capacitor. Okay. And treated wood planks, another 16. Treated wood, two aluminium fasteners, and two LV capacitors, two LV wire coils. I don't know if I have any LV wire coils. Okay, so how do you make LV wire coils? Uh, copper wire and a stick. Or copper wire and a stick. Okay. Oh, no, nope. you need to crush them first. We're going to have to make a new engineer's hammer soon. Okay, that's four of those. Um, what else did we need? Treated wood and two redstone wire, two fasteners. Yeah, I've been making fasteners because they keep popping up all the time and I just decided, look, let's just do it. While I was waiting for something to cook up, I can't remember. Redstone. Do we not have any more redstone wire? I thought I did. Or maybe I used it up. Sorry, so we need one copper wire. Um, right, so make turn this into a plate. Turn the plate. I oh, know it's in here. Oh no, it wasn't. Turn the plate into wire. And then I need four redstone. And move that to give you two redstone wire. Okay, let's double check this. All right, two fasteners, two LV connectors, treated wood planks, LV coil, and redstone wire. Ah, uh, right, those two up there, the treated wood planks around the edges. And then, um, wire and the LV wire and the redstone. LV and the redstone. Okay, didn't like that. Treated wood planks. Oh, we, we, we forgot the fasteners. We forgot the fasteners. All right, let's move this off. All right, let's do that again. Those two on top there, the two fasteners to hold it together. The treated wood planks around the outside. And the LV, no, the copper wire. No, the LV, what? That's the LV wire and the redstone wire. <laughs> really? Because I'm trying to take pictures for the thumbnail. Right, what have we done wrong? Treated wood planks, LV wire coil. I've got the right thing, right? Okay, LV wire coil, redstone, LV wire connectors, two aluminium fasteners, and treated wood planks. I'm pretty sure that's it. 
Okay, I'll try this one last time. Uh, uh, that and that. All right, one last time. Two fasteners, done that. Two wire connectors. That is treated wood planks, right? Yeah. LV wire coil. Maybe I had the two in the middle wrong. That's LV wire coil. Yes. It could be that's, that's what it was, is that I had these in the wrong order. Yeah, that's probably what it was. But I tried to make sure I got the right thing for the thumbnail. Okay, and uh, we got an enchanted heart and the XP I don't want yet. So, okay, so this bit is finished. So next episode, we can make the sea moth and we can go exploring because, you know, that's always going to be fun. All right, so we start with the frame. What do you need for that? Oh, steel scaffolding. So that means I've got to make more steel. Okay. So between episodes, I will be ramping up the steel and we are going to make, we're, we're going to make the sea moth. We're going to go exploring. Well, not next episode, but we're going to do as much of this as possible. Uh, oh, planes, large plane, reinforced aircraft hull, reinforced wool, wood. Okay. Water resistant, coated in, okay. Oh, we might be able to make an aeroplane as well. The aeroplane and you get a helicopter. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's see if we can get the aeroplane done as well. Let's see how much next lesson, next lesson. Why do I keep calling these lessons? They're not lessons. <laughs> I've got school on the mind. The next episode, let's see how much we can get done and get some travel under our belt. Travel options, I should say. So thanks very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.